Okay, guys, so if you're on this video, you probably already read the title and you know what this whole video is about. But if you haven't read the title, then I'm just gonna explain it for you real quick. Girl Attack might die because of this. Okay. It might. That's a sad fact. Or it might really gain from this. It might get a lot of players back. So, first... I'm gonna explain the title, and second, we're just gonna take a look at the Halloween stuff. But I'm still gonna be moving around the map while doing that. So basically, if you ha if you don't know by now, this morning there was an update about the the TOS of Girl Tag changing. Now that update was really controversial because what it basically says is anybody under the age of 13 will not be able to play the game anymore. Now, I know, you're probably dead, and that's what I said, but it's very shocking, and as I said, it might kill Gorilla Tag, but it also might get a lot of players back. As we know, most of the player base of Gorilla Tag is under 13, and uh, a lot of that leads to toxicity and basically bad stuff happening because the kids really don't understand what they're saying and what they're doing. So, basically, here's what's going to happen from now on. In maybe a few days, they're going to start banning players that are under 10. Maybe there's going to be a new report button here. Let me go show y'all what I mean. There's probably going to be a new report button. Over... Here, where you report players, there's going to be report, and there's going to be underage. You, you can report that. And, as I said, like, 80% of people in Gorilla Tag are, are under 13. So, it's going to be really a lot of people getting banned. Thousands and thousands of people. Um, but, because the thousands and thousands of people are are kids that are being toxic kids that are saying bad stuff kids that are making the game not fun kids that are griefing people are quitting so if the pe is so if the people that already quit if the hundreds of people that already quit hear that all of the underage people that are under 13 are getting banned then they might come back which means this is really going to have either a positive or a negative effect on girl tag most likely it's gonna be a little bit of positive most most likely of a negative that's just what i think though because yes we're gonna lose a lot of players but no more griefing mini games no more mini games kids no more no more no more mass reports no more people getting mad no more fights in monkey lobbies because you know why that always happens because of seven year olds saying things that they shouldn't be and then people getting mad about it so yes do i think this is gonna help girl tag absolutely do i think this is gonna hurt girl tag on the other side it it might it might hurt girl tag a lot it might hurt her girl tag a little bit but it'll probably recover from it very quickly also most of the people making the money for girl tag Maybe 15% of those people are kids asking their parents for money. But most demographic spending money on Gorilla Tag is not kids. Or are not kids. They're all above 13. Which means they're teen. <laughs> so I think Lemming is still going to make... He's still going to make a, like, a living out of this. Also, I'm, I need to mention that Gorilla Tag, which means Lemming, is not the one deciding to do this. It's not Lemming's choice. You might have heard that on Rec Room, all of the junior accounts have been banned. Now, what is a junior account? It's for anybody under 13. I think, at least. It's for young people. So, so Meta decided to ban every single junior account because all of them are under 13. Well, most, I think all of them were under 13. And that was a massive ban wave, which means on 
on Rec Room, we're going to be seeing a lot more children. I mean, a lot less children. Which Rec Room is a children-based game. So, yeah. I just want to let you know that Meta is enforcing this. They're really cracking down on all people under 13. Playing multiplayer games. So, Lemming was really forced to do this. I think there was some kind of threat to Lemming. I think there was some kind of threat to Lemming. Like, Meta might delete his game or something. That was probably it, because Lemming didn't, didn't, didn't decide to act until the wave of bans on Rec Room. So I think he was scared for his game, which is completely understandable. Like, Girl Tag is one of the best games on on VR, it, br it brought a completely new way of moving. So, of course, I, I, w I would personally do the same thing. I don't know when this U.S. Uh, I don't know when this is going to take action. The U.S., you are, like, if you're playing Gorilla Tag on the 6th of November, that means you've already accepted the T.O.S., the new T.O.S., which means I think it is in action. So, anybody on 13, be aware. Now, I'm sure a lot of you are asking, or wondering, am I going to get banned? Am I under 13? The answer to that is no. I am 13. So I will not get banned. And if anybody is 13 and up, you will not get banned. But if you do have cousins, siblings, friends that are under 13 playing, be careful. You might get banned because of just that time that your cousin, friend... Sibling is on your Oculus. You might get banned off of Real Tag. Also, it's going to be a perma ban, so you won't be able to go back on Real Tag. I think, but your Meta account won't be banned. Your meta, your Meta account will still stay in action, and the ban is only happening in multiplayer games. So, if you were wondering about that, yeah. Some other news that I wanted to, to tell you is. The MetaQuest Pro is out. Now I do not recommend buying I do not recommend buying this because it has a horrible mic. Well it's not horrible, but it's definitely worse than the MetaQuest 2, which is the one I'm playing on right now. The controllers are super heavy. You can not unlike the Oculus, you can see you can still see light around you. In the Oculus you can just see the headset, only the lenses. But with the MetaQuest Pro, you can still see the outside world while wearing the headset. And I'm not talking about pass-through. You can see it through the corner of your eyes, which is really annoying for playing games. Also, the MetaQuest Pro is directed towards work, not gaming. So, yeah, it is faster than the MetaQuest Pro. I mean, it is faster than the, Meta, uh, than the MetaQuest 2. Or the Oculus Quest 2. But... I wouldn't recommend buying it unless you're going to be using it for work. But that's really the only reason I would recommend it. I would also recommend it if you're like a big VR enthusiast that spends like thousands of dollars on VR and loves pass-through and hand tracking, then yes, I would recommend it because the pass-through on it is impeccable. Is impeccable. There's no more rings around controllers like we do on the MetaQuest because they're self-tracking, so yeah. It does have a really cool design. So, yeah. But that's really all the VR news I have. If you want me to make this... If you want me to make this a series, like VR news maybe every week, then I will. Just... 15 likes, and this will be a... A weekly series called... Not Thursday Newsday, because... Somebody else already does that. Mm, what should we name it? Friday Fun Day? No, that would be... No, because it's news. I'll find a name, and if I see 15 likes, or like a lot of views on this video, then I'm going to make it. A real thing with a real series a weekly series that I that I give every week to everyone and everyone could enjoy it 
and I'll just give you the latest VR news that happened that week. And, yeah, that's really all I have for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I hope you had a nice Halloween. Sorry I was gone for so long and I didn't even upload about Halloween. I hope you had a nice Halloween. Oh, we have one more thing to check out, and this is Halloween Cosmetics. So, let's go do that. I never noticed the culture makes sounds. But, um, I'm too poor to buy any of them. I don't have enough shiny rocks. So, we're gonna go over here. We're gonna test all of them out. I'm talking about only the flashbacks. Well, I won't even buy these because I don't like them. And I usually don't buy any full body things. I only buy the... The holdables. So, yeah. But I'll still try these two on. Just for the heck of it. See? Basically 3,000 shiny rocks. So, I'm too poor. But... Into the thick of it. Into the thick of it. Okay. Oh my god, this is so... This is actually pretty cool. Not gonna lie. Okay, now this... This is actually cool. Like... It is kind of really distracting, so like branching with this on would not be the best choice in my opinion. But yeah, it does look really cool. Now the umbrella. The umbrella is really cool. Because I would not recommend branching or playing at all with it open because it really matches. It really like covers most of your screen. But with it, with the umbrella closed... That's, that's really, that's cool. I like that. Okay, now. Wolf is cool, but I don't really like it because it doesn't, it doesn't give too much effect, so you can't really see it. This guy, or this girl, pretty cool because I like the wand. It looks like a shish kebab. So I might get that. This guy, this guy's really unique, but I still don't think I get them because it's only here. So, yeah. The clown. This literally looks like you. You. So I'm not even going to get it. So, yeah, it's a really hard decision, but I don't know. I'm going to wait until I have enough. So 5,000 and then I'm going to pick one thing to get. But then I'm going to start saving for Thanksgiving because don't forget that that's really near. And then we're going to have Christmas. So, we're really going to have a lot of cosmetics in the next three months. So, yeah. This is all for this video. Sorry I was gone for so long. And I'll see you in the next video. Papaya!